And I'm proud to report that we are in a stable situation and the government and its operations are solid in terms uh, of how we run our finances. Saying the government of Guam's finances are now stable, Governor Eddie Calvo announced today he is lifting the freeze on salary increments for GovGuam employees. It was my decision to use these surplus revenues uh, and utilize them uh, on an obligation, an obligation to our GovGuam workers. That means effective immediately, salary step increases and raises shall commence. All increments earned since they were frozen two and a half years ago will be paid to line agency and Department of Education employees and all increments during the period of the freeze for autonomous and semi-autonomous agencies will be paid in conformance with respective budgetary authorizations. Now, with the signing of the executive order today, approximately $5 million will be paid out to between six and 7,000 GovGuam workers who, despite the freeze and raises, continue to serve the people of Guam. Speaker Judy Wanpat. We know that uh, our people have been suffering, and I'm hoping that with this increment of the monies that they're going to get from back, uh, uh, monies owed to them, that uh, they use it, you know, wisely. Superintendent John Fernandez says this is a great way to end the school year and reward the hard work of DOE employees. They understand the financial consider the considerations that uh, everyone has to make, but of course the increment freeze has been something they've been interested in, in finding out more about and seeking a resolution. In fact, today's executive order resolves a multitude of grievances that were filed by teachers and DOE staff with the Civil Service Commission. The Department of Administration has been ordered to begin processing the increment checks and the governor says they could be included with GovGuam workers' paychecks next payday. Calvo says his administration remains committed to fulfilling its obligations as the government's fiscal situation continues to improve. He says he's confident that an audit on GovGuam's finances will show that his administration has helped steer the government's financial ship back in the right direction. In the first quarter of this fiscal year, we are also tracking very positively in terms of revenues coming in as projected, uh, as well as in the controlling of expenditures. So it appears that uh, as if things move accordingly, then we'll have very two very solid years. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.